Hey guys, Prohibit here, doing a review on the M416 camo, but before I do that, I just have a couple major shoutouts. Um, the first one goes to Lauren White for the Autumn G36E Valkyrie and a whole crap load of Miss G cases, which I already opened and unfortunately I didn't get anything um, that I haven't done or can do already. Actually, let's just say now I don't really need uh, Miss G cases anymore, so... I mean, they do help, but they're not really, uh, I don't know, I don't really get as much guns. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, and the other shout-out goes to Junk Mail. A huge shout-out as well for the FRF2 and the MK14 Mod 0, I believe, uh, for permanent as well. And just thank you guys so, so much. And another shout-out to Technodog for the 30-day... Uh, glasses and that's ultimately the best gift to get also as well so thank you guys a lot um yeah so to the gun now I'll stop blabbering in your ear uh, the M416 camo almost no recoil as you guys can see like I almost spam full auto the whole entire game uh, oh I do tap fire like right there when people are behind cover but that's just uh, it just makes sense. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's decent damage. Looks really cool, I think, with the uh, camo. And another cool thing about the M416 non-CQB edition is you can put the ACOG on it, which is very, very helpful for people like me who like the ACOG more. And yeah. See, look, I'm just spraying full auto like a beast. Uh, <laughs> that's what makes this gun really good. Anyway. You can get this gun at Brigadier General for 1650 GP a day, but I highly doubt you're going to do that. Or you could just get it in a Miss G case. It's probably the best gun you'll get in a Miss G case. Um, yeah, but it has a high d damage drop off. It's 6 to 7 shots at 60 to 80 meters, which can be a bit annoying, but it's not too, too bad. And it has the exact same stats as the M416, except 2 more damage. And I'm talking about the GP edition. So, yeah. Now on to the stats. Uh, damage is 40. As I said, two more than the M416 standard, still making it a four hit weak, but with the low recoil and high f uh, rate of fire, this gun kills really, really fast anyway. So uh, yeah, portability 62, four less than the M416 CQB, but you still run really fast with this AR. It's uh, one of the faster ones for sure. Uh, rate of fire 74, which is really, really high. And for the low recoil, it makes this weapon absolutely dominant. And I actually recommend spraying full auto to people that are in the open. Um, people necessarily that are behind cover and only have their head uh, sh poking out, it's probably inedible and you won't hit them at all. Um, that's not the word I wanted to use, but whatever. Uh, as I was saying, like people right there, just spray full auto. I was tap firing there, I'm pretty sure, but... Actually, not a little bit closer. But anyway, you guys get the point. You can literally spray full auto with this gun, and it just goes up and down. Like, the recoil is so good. And. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, for now, we'll talk about the accuracy, which is 80. 10 less than the G36 E, and 5 less than the SCAR. But. You know, this gun still hits really, really good. I have no issues with it. I can still hit people uh, across the map, but. It does have a low uh, damage drop off, and I think that might be the reason for that. And the recoil is 63, which is insanely low. That's what makes this gun absolutely beautiful and spray friendly. You could spray full auto, like I said, across the map, like literally. And I can't stop stressing about that because it's so true. Like, it's just so good. Don't mind my aim right here. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Um. Yeah, but I definitely recommend this gun. If you can't get the camo edition, the M416 GP is pretty much just as good. And if you aren't a high enough rank to get that yet, get the M4. The M4 is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, you can f customize it too, and it gets really, really good. If you want to see anything on that, watch my other re uh, my other review on that that I made about crap like a month ago and that's another thing I wanted to get to I'm sorry I haven't been making all the videos I said I was going to make but I've been even more busy than I was last time I've been having 12 hour days so I haven't had much time but other than that I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more and the FRF2 and the MK14 Mod 0 review will be coming out very soon I think I have an MP5 RAS um, gameplay 
saved in my frab folder or whatever so I'm just gonna use that too and yeah but yeah I totally recommend this gun I'd give it a 9 out of 10 there's no problems with it at all and it's just it's noob recoil it's noob recoil it's noob friendly sorry about that guys uh, sound like a little bit of an idiot today but that's okay I have lots of energy for once and I'm finally doing a review in the middle of the day not at friggin three o'clock at night <laughs> so that's cool that's cool anyway I wanna know what your guys thoughts are on the M416 uh, that's my question of the day please answer below uh, do you guys think it's too noob friendly do you think it's too overpowered just yeah whatever what do, whatever you guys think um, I personally don't think it's overpowered at all it doesn't have that much damage it kills really fast but so do a lot of guns now so I think that's why a lot of people don't complain about it too much the odd person I'll get you know really really mad because I'll kill them a couple times with it and they'll start yelling at me being like no recoil noob no recoil noob and it's just like oh come on if you had any kind of skill and you had like an MK14 mod or something and you were really good at tap firing, you could probably take someone out with an M416 because uh, it has more damage. And if you have really good aim, like why? I don't know. I don't see why you shouldn't be able to. But in this game, it's mostly all about who sees who first, unless the player you are having a one versus one, uh, you know, shootout with is a noob, and then it doesn't really matter because the chances are he's not going to hit you anyway. But most people are pretty good at this game now. It has evoluted to not too bad of a game. Uh, before, when I first started playing, people would stand in one spot. They wouldn't stray for anything. They would just stand there. And it was really easy to get unbelievable. So it's a little bit harder now. I've only got like five of the past month. And I used to get one every day I played. At least one. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, I'm actually probably going to put a little clip at the end. Uh, no, nah, I'll do that on the next review. It's it's pretty funny. It's a capture the flag clip. I'll put it in the next review uh, on the MP5 or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the review. Prohibit out. Have a very, very good day.